Okay, so welcome back to computer organization. And in this video, I'm going to discuss question 8.5 from the textbook on digital design and computer architecture, ARM edition. And so this question says that describe the trade-off of increasing um, each of the following cache parameters while keeping the others the same. So first one is block size, then second associativity, and then third the cache size. So let's look at these one by one. Okay, so in this case, we see that increasing the block size will increase the cache's ability to take the advantage of the spatial locality. So why? So when you see that if we have a fixed capacity C and uh, and then we have B, okay? So generally in a direct map cache, this is um, one, but if, if it is greater than one, then it has, so in this case, it has ability to uh, fetch multiple blocks, okay? at once. So it has multi ability to fetch multiple blocks at once. So this basically gives you um, the ability for the spatial locality. So the spatial locality. And so the cache, uh, if we have a B greater than one, then you will see that you will have a multiple uh, columns, so right, right uh, like this. Okay. Uh, so, so, I mean, uh, not to confuse this, the columns with N ways. Um, so in this case, basically the tags would be same. So the tags and so the B1, B2, B3, these will be the blocks, but the tag would be the same. Okay, so this is the thing. Um, however, in this case, this also decreases the number of the locations to map an address to. Um, so like say, for example, these, 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 all our map have the same tag in this case. So in this case, uh, the problem in this case is that yes. Number of locations to map address. Why? Because the tags for these are the especially located memory addresses are same, right? And so, uh, resulting cache miss. Okay, uh, you know, basically resulting in uh, like not the resulting. Basically, um, I will say leading to more cache miss. Okay, so this is what we have. Then after that, the second one is, the second one in this case is uh, associativity, okay? So in this case, increasing the associativity will increase the amount of necessary hardware, okay? Because in this case, if you look at that in the, if you have a more associativity, then more comparison will be required. Uh, but also it causes uh, to decrease the missing rate, miss rate, the cache miss rate. Okay, so. Uh,
increasing associativity means more hardware okay and then cache means okay then after that see what we have is increasing the cache means so increase the cache size okay so now see we have a cache size so increasing the cache size will decrease the capacity misses and decrease the conflict miss, but also increase the cache size, cache uh, access time. So because now you have a more cache, right? So first uh, decreases your uh, but basically what is overall okay and uh, conflict miss. Okay, but increase the access time because now you have a more, uh, like you, if you have a bigger cache, then there will be more sets it will require. And so there will be more things that will be stored in your cache. And so it requires more traversing. Okay, so uh, this is your uh, question 8.5. Let's take a pause and write the question 8.6. So question number 8.6, is this the, is this, is the miss rate of a two-way set associative cache always, usually, occasionally, or never better than that of a direct math cache of the same capacity and block size? So we already looked at uh, in, in previous video about the access, uh, question on exercise 8.3 and 8.4 which was asking to give an example of a sequence of addresses where uh, number one, um, direct mapped cache will outperform the fully associative cache. And number two, vice versa, that fully associative cache will outperform direct mapped cache. So we looked at the address. So in general, um, you see the both examples that um, there are situations where um, direct map cache will outperform your um, um, as fully associative cache, and uh, there are situations when fully associative cache will outperform your direct map associative cache. And so, n um, two way set associative cache is uh, a little um, uh, is similar to the fully associative cache, except that you can have a, a more than one set, but in that case, also you will have um, b greater. Uh, sorry, in this case, you will have n equal to two. In this case, right? Uh, not the b, but um, n equal to two, right? So in this case, you have c by b, right? And so sets in this case will be b by two. Okay. So usually. The fully uh, usually the associative caches have the better miss rates than the direct mapped cache of the same capacity and block size uh, because they have fewer conflict misses. However, uh, as we saw um, in question eight point four, uh, question eight point three, uh, that direct mapped cache performed actually uh, better, right? So in this case. Usually, uh, associative caches have it's um of the same a city and 
block size. Um, but other way around. Impossible with uh, okay, some pathological case cases. Okay, so that's all for the question number eight point five and eight point six. Thank you.